<laughs> Same here. All right, from the reigning best orchestra in the nation, a cellist from Brandeis High School emerges as a lone star. A 17-year-old senior was actually the only student in the state in his division to represent Texas at a coveted competition in Detroit. In this morning's Kids Who Make San Antonio Great Marvin has more on the musician and his noteworthy accomplishment. <laughs> Vincent Garcia Hedeker is working to become a musical storyteller. I do what feels natural to me, and I do what I'm feeling in that moment. At five, the Brandeis High School senior chose the cello as his melodic quill. I saw the cello, and that was the, the biggest one in the room at the time. There was no basses in there. So I said, I want to play the cello. The youngest in a family of musicians, Vincent's motivations went high and low. My parents helped me practice, and uh, they'd get me to practice each day. I, I loved it, but sometimes I wouldn't want to wake up early and, and practice. Then at 11 years old, his first solo invigorated his musical DNA. You could kind of tell that there was an immediate connection with music. Talking about dynamics, his father, Kevin. At some point, you just, you just accept it. Is also Vincent's orchestra director. We make it work, and uh, I think that actually helps us in the orchestra as well. My wife is, is really the one that takes them to lessons and, and um, is the driving force. So the parents in professional lessons have helped Vincent play in national and international competitions, even during the pandemic. His latest accomplishment came in Detroit at the Sphinx competition. Immersed in his performance, the only student representing Texas, Vincent became a prize-winning finalist at the competition for the first time. I am trying to tell a story to the listener and I'm trying to move the audience as well. That's always my main goal whenever I play. It became a moment. Mom and Dad felt it. I think that was probably one of the best performances I've ever heard from him. The competition is for black and brown musicians, and well, when you look at Vincent. My father, the, on the, the Garcia side, had 10 brothers and sisters. Garcia may not come to mind. Vincent grew up with all the traditions and grew up being a Garcia. And so we're very proud of that heritage. We're, we're proud to represent the Garcia family. Interpretation of what the musician plays falls on the hearer. But the six foot four storyteller is expanding his repertoire to be just like his orchestra director dad. It's what I want my future job to be. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> say you're proud, and he absolutely did. By the way, Vincent is out on the road this month. He is auditioning for college at Rice, Northwestern, the Colburn Conservatory of Music, the Curtis Institute of Music, and of course, Juilliard. I immediately thought Juilliard, just listening to him, right. especially right there at right. the end, Marvin. That was, see his uh, technique. It, it, yeah. What, what an amazing young man. Yeah, he, re he really is. I was going to say this musician right here is probably sitting here. I, I, was, I was breaking yeah. this too. Down. I was so moved. You know, Tchaikovsky said where words leave off, music begins. Right. I've always yeah. believed that. So to see that incredible story, Marvin, of that young man who's inspiring not just to other musicians out there, but young people right. and really people of all ages who want to get started in music, it can change your life life. Agreed. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, Marvin. Yeah, yeah, and anyone would be lucky to have Vincent. So congratulations yeah. to him. God's That's given wonderful. talent right there. Uh, for sure. <laughs> Something I didn't get, but I do know how to tell you the weather. So I'm going to do that. Many today. talents, man. Yeah.